Hello, my name is Jennifer Nolan and I am currently assigned to the Project Elevate team. As you know, the City of Columbus will be migrating to Microsoft D365 from our current system of DEX 2012. Although the two systems are very similar, Microsoft has added some enhanced navigation options as well as some optional user personalizations. Starting this month, the Project Elevate team will begin sharing some short videos about D365 and going into more depth on these enhanced navigation options as well as some user personalization. These personalizations as well as the enhanced navigation options will provide a number of ways for you to navigate the system and complete your job functions. So let's begin. As you can see, when you initially sign in to Microsoft D365, you are going to come to a home page. Microsoft calls this home page a dashboard. Uh, as you can see across the top middle of the screen, you have a nice banner, the Project Elevate. Uh, once we go live, this will be a um, very nice City of Columbus banner. Uh, in the center of the page, you have what are called tiles. These tiles will act as a menu button. For example, if you've ever bought anything or been online, you can just click on it, select it, and it will take you to your workspace. Um, We'll go into workspaces uh, more in depth in a later video. However, just understand that these uh, tiles are going to be different. These workspaces will be different. Um, you may not see quite as many. They'll be based on your job function, job titles. Uh, for example, I am listed as a system administrator. So therefore, I have multiple tiles uh, for testing purposes. Over here, you have a, a calendar. Underneath that, you have work items assigned to me. Uh, if you had anything that was assigned to you, this would populate here. Uh, this is a training environment and I do not have any current items assigned to me. Uh, but when you do, this is a nice quick visual for you to see if there's anything that you need to take care of. Uh, off to the Top left here, you see these three bars uh, for you trivia folks. I have been told this is called a hamburger button. Uh, this here is called your navigation pane. So if you would select those three bars, this will expand the navigation pane, uh, showing you multiple options. If you were to select it again, it would minimize it. Uh, so just um, Another way Microsoft allows you to get to the items or the modules or the work workspaces that you would need to complete. Uh, just as you can come up here and select finance and operations uh, to take you back to the home page or the dashboard, you can also select the home button here in the navigation pane. Uh, down below that, you have your favorites. Uh, we'll go into that. I'll show you how to add to your favorites, but if you have a report that you run or a module that you need to go to on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, you can add that here to your favorites. Microsoft also has a recents button. Uh, this will keep track of any of the recent modules or places that you've been within D365. So again, just another way to be able to quickly access something that you are working on. Again, this is workspaces. We'll go into this uh, in greater detail later. Under the workspaces are a list of all the modules uh, for finance and operations uh, for the city of Columbus. As you can see, you can come down here. We'll use procurement and sourcing as an example. I can come down to procurement and sourcing and it will now show me all the different things that are under the procurement and sourcing uh, environment. You have purchase orders, purchase requisitions, vendors, catalogs, vendor rebates, uh, inquiries and reports, et cetera. If I needed to find something, I could just select the carrot uh, either way, and I can come down here, all purchase orders, purchase order entry, and I can find what I'm looking for quickly. Uh, if I'm not quite sure where I need to look, I can select expand all, and this will open everything under procurement and sourcing. As you can see, it is a lot. If for some reason you can't find it quickly, just like in Microsoft Word, you can select Control F for find. 
and then you would be able to do a search. For example, up here on find the page, if I wanted to look for Let's see, requests for quotation. As you can see, as I type request for quotations, anything that says request begins to highlight in yellow. Again, a very quick visual on what you're looking for. If you need to, you can also collapse all those. If you know that I'm looking for a particular inquiring report, under transactions, it's very quick, very quick to get to it. Uh, again, I can hit the home button if I need to, to take me back to my home environment. I can also select and I can minimize my navigation pane. Um, as I said, you can come up here under settings and select under settings, you get multiple options, select user options. This gives you the ability to change your color theme. If you prefer blue, as you can see, it changes automatically. If you're a pink person and you like a pink background, which I personally like, you can do that. It automatically updates your color scheme. Down below that is your size. Uh, as you can see, there's a standard size and there is a compressed size. Um, if I select compress, you can see that the font gets much smaller. If I were to go back, like I said, I could select finance and operations. Uh, it's much easier to see all the tiles. However, the writing is a little bit smaller. Uh, I personally like the standard size, so I can come back up under user options, and then I can go back to the standard size. It's automatically updated. Uh, just as I hit finance and operations, I can hit the home key. Very easy to navigate through D365. Uh, another quick one for favorites. Again, I would like to go to procurement and sourcing. If I wanted to look at purchase requisitions, and let's say I wanted to select purchase requisitions prepared by me. As you can see, as I hover over this link, a star appears. All you have to do is select that star and it is automatically added to your favorites. So here you can see purchase requisitions prepared by me. If I wanted to add something else, if I wanted to come under and look at purchase orders, um, I could do purchase order follow-ups. I could pick something, open purchase order lines, select the star, it's automatically added to my favorites. Same thing, if I just wanted to remove it from my favorites, as I hover over it, the star appears, I can select again and it's removed from my favorites. Another great feature on the page at the very top, uh, Microsoft calls this an action search bar. Uh, if I'm not sure exactly what module I'm looking for a particular item, you can just come up here. For example, all purchase orders. And as you can see, as I start typing all purchase orders, anything and everything that's associated with that starts to populate. If I wanna come down here and look for all confirmed purchase, purchase orders, it tells me where it's located. It gives me the path. For example, this is under vendor collaboration and purchase orders. If I just wanted to do it quickly, I could just select it. There we go. As you can see, Microsoft's moving a little bit slow this evening. But again, took me straight to the page that I wanted. If that wasn't what I was looking for. I could come up here. If I wanted to look at purchase requisitions, I could pull up all purchase requisitions. Again, just a very quick uh, access, and it takes me directly to the page that I need to get to. 
So that is all for our introductory video into Microsoft D365. So please stay tuned for our next video uh, where we'll take a more in-depth look at some of the different personalizations and uh, navigation options. Thank you.